Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to showcase the pets and mounts you can get from the maw assaults that happen in the maw. Firstly, let me tell you what these even are. So, the maw assaults are these mini events happening in the maw. Each covenant assaults the maw every 3.5 days, meaning that there will be two different assaults a week. For EU realms, the assaults swap on Wednesdays at 8 am and on Saturdays at 8 pm Central European Time or CET. For US realms, they swap on Tuesdays at 8 am Pacific Daytime and on Fridays at 8 pm Pacific Daytime or PDT. Each assault happens in a different part of the mall and can be seen on the screen right now. To unlock the mall assaults, you must complete the whole Covenant campaign if it's your first time in the Shadowlands. If you're doing this on your alt, the process of unlocking the assaults is pretty simple. You must first choose a Covenant and complete their quests until you get a quest called The High Lord Calls. Once you're at this quest, you can simply press the skip option on everything Bolvar says until you get a quest called A Unified Effort, which after accepting instantly unlocks the Maw Assaults. To finish the Maw Assault, you have to complete the four available quests. After completing them, you will speak to the main guy who starts the assault, which will start the final part of the assault. It depends on which assault you are doing, but they mostly follow the same pattern. Kill mobs, then kill the big guy and you are done. After completion, you will get a chest depending on the covenant assault you have completed. Now that you have them unlocked, let's see what pets and mounts you can get from them. We will start with the Kyrian Maw Assault. So, from the Kyrian Maw Assault, there is one toy and three pets you can get. The toy in question is called the Vesper of Faith and can be obtained from the Ascended War Chest, which you get after finishing the assault. And speaking of the chest, you can also get another pet from it, and that is the Copperback Adderworm. The toy has around 7% drop chance and the pet has around 11% drop chance. The next pet from the Kyrian Maw Assault is the Sinfall's Creature. Yep, this one is from the Kyrian Assault, not the Venthyr one. I don't have the footage of me getting the pet, so I have prepared a short demonstration of how to get the pet. So, during the Kyrian Assault, you go to this spot on the map. You will see a cage on chains. You destroy the chains, the cage will fall down. You then click on the cage and voila! You got yourself a new pet. This pet is only available once per character. Then the last pet is from an achievement during the Kyrian Assault and is called Sly. To get Sly, you must complete the achievement A Sly Fox. To complete the achievement, go talk to this lady with another fox near her. She will have a dialogue option for you to find the missing Vulpin. You then just follow the tracks and once you see the Vulpin, Sly, click on it and you're done. Now you have to do this again two more times and you will get yourself the Sly Pet as well as the achievement points. The next Maw Assault in line is the Necrolord Maw Assault. From this one you can get one mount and two pets. The mount is called the Undying Dark Hound and drops from the war chest of the Undying Army, which is the chest you get for completing the assault. And there is one more thing dropping from the chest, and that is the battle pet called Father. The mount has roughly 4% drop chance and the pet has around 11% drop chance. The second and last pet from this assault you can get is Lil Abom. To get this pet, you have to collect all 5 parts of it. Literally. You'll have to collect Lil Abom's head, spare arm, torso, legs and right hand. There are a lot of spawn points for these collectibles, so I'll just leave them in the description. Also, one thing to note is that the spawn rate of these items is random. They might be up at day 1 of the assault, but not during the rest of it. Also there's a comment on Wowhead saying that this is available also during the Night Fae assault, but I cannot prove it since I have done it only during the Necrolord one. And well, once you get all 5 parts, you click on either one of them and you will create the pet. And speaking of Night Fae Assault, there is one mount and two pets you can get. The mount, as with the previous ones, comes from the war chest, but this time of the wild hunt. And you can also get a pet from this chest, called the Invasive Buzzer. The mount in question is called 
the Wild Hunt Leg Splitter. The mount has around 4% drop chance, while the pet has around 11% drop chance. Again. And the second pet you can get from this assault is the Infused Etherworm. To obtain this pet, a certain quest must be up during the assault. The quest in question is called a shady place. If it's not up, you can't get the pet. When it is up though, accept it and you will get a quest item which will teleport you into the rift phase of the mall. In this phase, you want to look for the elusive key binder, which can be spotted on many different spots. I advise you to use a macro to find him or there are three confirmed spots you can look at. I will leave the TomTom -tom comments of the spots in the description. Once you find the key binder, you will get the Etherworm Cage Key. Once you have the key, you go to this spot in the cave and leave the rift or leave the rift before and go to the spot, it doesn't really matter. There you will see a locked cage with Etherworm inside. Go there, unlock the cage and you will get yourselves the pet. And the last assault is the Venthyr one, from which you can only obtain a mount called Harvester's Dreadwing and has around 4% drop chance. And well, that is what you can get from the mall assaults. I would also like to mention one last thing, and that is that while completing the assaults, check out the achievement called On the Offensive. This achievement is a part of a bigger achievement called Breaking the Chains, which will award you with the Head of Salaranga Mount, which is pretty cool. And of course, I cannot forget about the auction house prices, so here they are, both on EU and US realms. Thank you everyone so much for watching, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you feel like this video enlightened you about WoW. Thanks again and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!